from WJLA 24-7 News. This is Let's Talk Live. It's demoralizing because you go to work and you expect, you know, pay for, for hard work and you wake up and, and your bank account's empty. Stories like this are just one of many as the government shutdown continues to loom over federal workers. And again, trying to make ends meet when you don't know when or if your next paycheck's going to come. That's what we're talking about today. Yeah, and Dr. O is here to help us with some tips for federal workers as they cope with the shutdown of the mm -hmm. government. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. It can't it. be easy, you know, knowing. I mean, it's one thing to be laid off of a job mm -hmm. because you know that there was a reason why you were laid off. Right. The, the job, you know, that particular uh, job is no longer in existence or the company went belly up, what have you. Mm -hmm. But knowing that you did nothing wrong and you're still not getting paid. That's right. That's right. It's, it's, it's tragic and mm -hmm. it's really unfortunate. And the way where everyone's working to help each other, it's like this country suffered a hurricane or something. But yeah. these are, you know, human made issues that we're dealing with. But even with that, there are so many ways that you can start to work towards keeping your sanity in, in, in a situation like this. Okay. Yeah. And the first thing you want to do is you want to contact the companies. If you have any bills, you know, there are a lot of companies out there that are actually working with you. But some of us just automatically assume the worst and we don't even try to reach out to mm -hmm. the people where we may owe rent or car payments. There are a lot of companies that are stepping up to help people. Another thing you can do is before you get any credit dings from possible missed payments, if you have the ability to transfer your, your credit to a to a 0% credit card so you get zero interest rates for maybe a year or so, that could possibly help. And you want to get out there and go to government agencies, community, religious institutions, and see if they're offering services in terms of food or other type of help. But also you got to make sure that you maintain your own sanity by making sure that you're continuing to do anything like exercise exercise, praying, uh, make sure you're getting enough sleep, yeah. anything that can help you because this is temporary, but your mental stability is forever. Absolutely. Wow. So, and then that's the thing we've been talking about. I mean, some people in this situation, I mean, this is the first time for them. You know, they've never mm -hmm. had to ask for some assistance or look for some that's help. Right. And some, are, I feel a little ashamed, if you will. They, they, they're not willing. I mean, you have to be willing at this situation by no fault of your own. You're mm -hmm. stuck in a situation. Mm -hmm to step out there and ask it, how do you get into that comfort zone where you can ask for help? I think that that's part of the problem. That's right, and I reminded of a quotation that said, ask for help, not because you're weak, but because you want to remain strong. Oh, I like that. Yeah. And everybody, everyone knows that our, our you know, the 800,000 people are affected, they are serving the country. Mm -hmm. So this is not the time to be prideful and, and hold it in because everybody wants to help because mm -hmm. they've helped us out with security, getting on planes right. and everything else. So the country is with them right now. So now's the time to ask, whether it's through a phone or text message, just do something to let people know because you can't hear what you never reveal. This is true. Uh, well, this is an interesting uh, t subject we're talking about with kids. So mm -hmm. if you are if you were two government workers, you have kids and maybe right. there are things they can't do right now. How do you talk about it with the kids? I mean, they might yeah. not fully understand. Yeah. You have to be honest with them and obviously the age appropriate mm -hmm. level but this is the time of year where you start to talk to them about you know real issues that are going on that this is something that's no fault of theirs right. as well as no fault of them as the parents and then you want to start working together what can we do to start to cut down do we maybe change up the family phone plan do we have you know an extra phone we don't need get them involved just like you get involved with kids and helping them do community service projects get them involved in the house looking around what do we not eat enough of that we don't need to be buying anymore mm -hmm. right. and I found that children are more eager to help when they know what's going on. This is true. Do you think that maybe part of the issue here is that this has been the longest government shutdown that we've had yeah. to endure? Yeah. Um, maybe some people were thinking, okay, this is typical. We've been through this before. It's about mm -hmm. 14 days and then we're back to work. So yeah, yeah. It, it's going to leave a dent, but it's not going to hurt us. That's and so right. maybe that's why people didn't initially start picking up the phone going, hey, Pepco, hey, Verizon, mm -hmm. you know, we mm -hmm. need to adjust our payment schedule. Yes, absolutely. And some companies have realized that also because just this week we're seeing some companies start to step up and help people and realize this is actually going to go longer than we expected. And so mm -hmm. this is going to be a community effort all around. Man. This is just, it's unbelievable, and I can't imagine, like, if there's something in your home right now, you know, if you're fortunate enough to have a job and, you know, money's tight for you for whatever reason, you sit there and say, okay, I need to cut out my phone, I need to cut out my direct TV, mm -hmm. whatever it is. Yeah, but this yeah. isn't by your making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you might have an idea of what the solution is, but the government mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily listen to you. That's right. And I think for people sitting at home who aren't affected by the shutdown as yeah. well, they we can get out and do something as well. You can give food mm -hmm. to local organizations, you can give clothes. You may have modes of transportation. Some of the biggest challenges 
challenges some people have who still have to get to work yes. is paying for transportation. You might have a bike that people can use, a car that you don't mm -hmm. use. Maybe your, your job offers transportation for the metro. You can, you can right. share that. If you have a business, as you know, my wife and I run yoga studios. We're offering free classes for people. That's you know, cool. Everybody can do something right at this time mm -hmm. of year to help people. I, yeah, I especially the with the kids, too, because after school mm -hmm. programs, you know, they cost. They're not That's cheap. Right. And right. now what do you do? I mean, you still got to keep the kids active. It's like you said, it's not their fault, but they still mm -hmm. need to be mm -hmm. involved in something. They can't just come home and sit and look at four walls. And That's I've heard right. some families, too, where the uh, spouse may be home and the other spouse may be predominantly a, a at-home spouse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's making some tensions because we've never planned on being home, home together, together. <laughs> through the holidays, <laughs> through <laughs> January. <laughs> you know, it's... Enough is enough. Get out. Yeah, 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 that's a whole other type <laughs> of assistance. Money aside, like, <laughs> emotionally, I can, you know, because yeah. what can you do? I mean, you know, you still have to have that drive. Do you get up and uh, one of my friends was saying, you know, I still want to keep my routine. You know, mm -hmm. I don't just lay in bed all day right. and be mopey. Mm -hmm. I got to get up and go work out like I normally Keep my routine that I normally wake up to go to work because eventually I'm going back to work. That's I can't right. start practicing sleeping until noon, noon if I yeah. have to get up yeah, at five. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. try right. to Absolutely. keep some normalcy, I guess, to your life. And, and, yeah, right. and how do you keep that uh, mentality? Because again when you're on vacation you know you're not necessarily thinking day two my vacation's mm -hmm. going to end but by day mm -hmm. five or six you're like okay i know what's coming up i got to yeah. get back to yeah. the grind but you don't know when this is going to be over that's right so that's how right. do you keep that mind focused on the positive or, or or thinking clearly and not getting stuck in that rut of what was me and that's easy to do absolutely well two things number one we talked about earlier maintaining any type of routine you can to the best of your ability right. whether it's praying exercising but also start focusing on the future and start looking at what can you do to build your skill sets in case you actually do have to find another job okay. YouTube University is free you could be spending this time starting to learn another language there are certificate programs mm -hmm. colleges and universities have really discounted and some free programs on like business plan writing and the like you want to get involved in things like that that can help build your skills and also this is something you could also do with your kids if you know that you have been somebody who hasn't prioritized things like saving mm -hmm. you want to start figuring out how you can adjust that for when you do eventually go back to work right. start creating a plan so you have a, a, a nest egg or a little cushion for when this happens again Okay. Okay. All right, All right, where can we get more information? You got a site? Uh, uh, absolutely. You, got, you, got? you can always go to www.upstanderinternational.com and we can talk more about it all the time. Right. And, and find out online. about it, uh, the yoga classes. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. BikramYogaWorks.com. Come there join us and jump in a class. All right, Doctor, thanks so much. Thank we appreciate you. it. We're going to take a quick break, but we're spotlighting a local man who's turned to his business to combat the government shutdown. We're going to talk about that coming up right after the break.